Evening, evening. I'm a bit early for a change, so I guess that, that won't hurt much. Yeah, only a bit early as well, so not the major problem. Already calibrated the steering wheel, so let's go, I guess. And yeah, the plan was to do some Valentine stuff. But the plan was also to get rid of the trailer in a proper way. Uh, I guess we can kind of get rid of it, it, rid of it uh, just by sen sending it home, so to say. But we are almost home, so I was thinking that, well, if we can find something for uh, Marche. Don't remember exactly what we were doing. We are driving Paris from Toulouse to Montpellier, yes, and we are not done with that. Far from. What did I manage to do here? There we go. Uh, I managed to change the sensitivity of the mouse somehow. Yes, Paris from Toulouse to Montpellier. Pellier, so I guess that we are in Toulouse still. Yes, very much. But we did pick up the actual cargo and are supposed to just head, head out. Yes, yes. Because we slept. I needed to sleep. And it shouldn't be that far. Oh, four hours. Okay, that, that much. Oh well. Let's go. Feeling a bit cold, actually. Yeah. We'll keep going. Looking at the lights, hoping that they will warm me up, but uh, it's not that kind of lights, really. Now. That's true, we ended up at Renault Trucks. But no, we don't need any repairs. We can probably use some repairs, but we don't need any. Well, until I collided with a couple of cars here. Ahoy, Dement! Ahoy! Welcome, welcome. Oops. Almost needed repairs. Let's see now. Let's not go too fast. Let's not. Yeah, that's mostly the problem, I guess. Let's not collide with stuff. It's as simple as that. Sorry. Some soda, so yeah, we'll probably burp a little bit extra. Apologize in advance. Leaving to lose 70. Yay! Oops, oops, oops. Catching up on that DSV truck. Oh, never mind. No, no, we're 
instead of catching up on me. Of course, I'm going too fast. That's why. Out the way. Yeah, I'm like, no, not that way. Precisely, I was reading the signs and it said Montpellier in the left lane, but I was like, no, we're not going, <coughs> not going towards Paris, and correct, we weren't. Still always a little bit tricky to read the GPS correctly. I have to I have to look around the monitor, yes, precisely. That's how that's how we do it. No, it was uh, yeah, three hundred kilometers or something, so yeah yeah. A little bit. A little bit of a distance and then we are not even in uh, Marseille. I was hoping to get to Marseille just to ditch the trailer, but we, we might ditch it when we get to Montpellier. We'll see how that works. If it is teleported back to oh, its home base, which I think it is. And that would be Marseille. I think. Of course, I might as well try to get some of those um, Valentine deliveries done. I won't be able to do all of them on air anyhow, so I will probably work a little bit of overtime, so to say, next weekend. Those kinds of stuff. Let's beat that Renault, mm, hopefully. trust them entirely. I've been rammed a couple of times in the in those kinds of areas. Thirty nine point two liters per kilometer. No, per <laughs> one hundred kilometers. Uh, otherwise it would have been really bad. Yeah, yeah precisely, the trailer belongs in, in Marche. I think. I could relocate it, of course. Well, I say of course. I think I can relocate it. Much like you can move trucks and stuff around as well. So yeah, this is bound to be pretty undramatic, I would guess, this trip here. Try to see if we can get some stuff going for uh, Spain, for example. But we'll see. The thing is, uh, all these transports or the Valentine transports needs to be 100 kilometers or more. But I don't think there will even be uh, ones that are shorter than. If I have to guess. 
Oh yeah, that was uh, Carcassonne we just drove by, I think. Over there, yeah, it is. For all the board game enthusiasts, Carcassonne is pretty well known. Or I should say tabletop gamers perhaps. can almost start using our headlights. And by that I still mean high beams. See, I'm actually reading road signs correctly. I'm usually reading them, not always correctly. Or not always following the road signs. <coughs> Oh yeah, true, we are not, uh, I'm looking for distances to Marseille, but we're not going to Marseille. Right now we are going to Mont Montpellier, I think. Yes, Montpellier. Yes, that also means that I'm supposed to change lanes here. Yep. Overtaking on the right, like like a freaking lunatic. <laughs> like a pro, yes, precisely. So, might as well start slowing down. Six hundred. Nice and even number. Not nice necessarily, but even at least. Cruise control on 78, 76. That's not what I meant to do. No, I don't have a cruise control at all. It's 
Jeez. There we go. Taking off here, or probably not. Mm, no, oh, sorry. Oh, no, not there, but soon enough. Yes, yes. Here we are heading off. Oops. there already ah I haven't been to Montpellier nice now we have oh it was a red light yeah I was just like hmm, I wonder if that was a red light Apparently it was. <laughs> Too many trucks in the way. I got confused. Car four, or something like that. We'll, I guess we'll do it like this then. Pretty good ish. Good enough, as you say. What was that? Pairs, yeah. Current company of buffers, we can check if they have something for. No. They did not. was uh, looking for something for uh, Marche. There we go. Used packaging, 51,000. Sure. From Carrefour. Yeah, that, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, no, sorry. No, no. 
Sorry, external market. Yeah, that's what we should check. Used packaging. There we go. There we go. There we go. So let's drive that to. Manche. Then we'll ditch the truck. And yes, it also said that if I wanted to take on that other job, the trailer would be teleported to Marche. Wait, what did it say? Oh, I actually, sorry. I'm not done here. Trailer auto loading, didn't it load? I guess it didn't. No, no. It did not. Oops, 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 oops. It's not necessarily easier doing up oh, doing stuff that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I will do like that instead. I was like, ah, still have a, still have some cold uh, that is bothering me a little bit. <clears throat> I didn't have the tenacity to take care of that. I thought it was gonna load it, uh, di load it directly as it was from the same company, as it usually does, but not this time. No, I mean Marseille. Ah, come on, no more red light offenses. Good. Marseille. Second exit. Shouldn't be that far to Marche, but I didn't check and we just ran past the sign that I didn't really have the time to read. No. 160 kilometers left. Ish. One thousand liter of fuel left, so not a problem. Oops. 
then we might we should be able to go to our garage and sleep and I will actually test that because it's not always working out as well as you would like I want to go there and drop off my trailer and now I don't need to as I said but well immersion immersion uh, but we should also be able to sleep there because I guess that we will need well we might as well sleep while we are there But yeah, Marche is quite big, so we'll see where, where we are supposed to deliver this and where my garage is. Might not be next to each other. Step on it. Oh, jeez. Lots of uh, blue light action today. Uh, only in the opposing lane, so I don't mind. like that I might as well overtake oh coming up to a toll station Say to the right. Foster. So, not quite there yet apparently eh, almost 35 kilometers left thirty nine point one my investment in new tires certainly helped the fuel economy 
but sure, the tires cost a bit. It's probably hard to, what should we say, make that investment count fully. Uh, of course, after quite some distance, I guess. Because you don't really need to buy new tires unless I buy another truck. I just need to kind of repair my current tires. That could, of course, be more expensive as well. I, I'm not entirely sure. Well, let's say that you gain, for simplicity, we can say five liters per 100 kilometers. And one liter cost 22 Swedish crowns. So that's 110 or something. If I, my math is not failing me too much. Uh, 110 Swedish crowns for per 100 kilometers, so yeah, essentially one crown per kilometer then, uh, now that I made that calculation. And the tires cost, uh, they cost quite a lot more, if I remember it correctly. So yeah, it's hard to win that back, but... Thousand kilometers, thousand crowns. Unfortunately, I mean, let us say that one tire cost. Try to remember. Well, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, they were quite a bit more expensive, if I remember it correctly. There are a couple of tires on the truck and the trailer. Let's not forget about the trailer. It certainly looks better on the on the fuel economy. And if we th think from a, a environmental perspective, it's a little bit better. It's not as bad. <coughs> But it's also not real life. <laughs> no. Uh. Stop doing that. Bastard. Bastards. We keep staying in the outer lane all the time in roundabouts just to make sure that they don't cut me off. If they keep doing that, which they have done plenty of times. I was gonna say over the years, but yeah, I haven't played that much.
Oh yeah, that was a world of truck delivery. That's true. That's true. Just continue because we want to go home, so to say. Uh, wherever that is, that is apparently over here. So yeah, let's go there. Drop off the trailer. Not that we need to, but uh, let's do it anyhow. And see if we can manage to get some sleep at our own garage. We are supposed to be able to, of course. Kind of makes sense. But it is a bit fiddly as I understood it. And that's certainly also my experience. So much. So I thought it didn't work at all. If we can, uh, it's perhaps a bad idea to tell one of my drivers to drive with this trailer because it might limit their uh, possibility to earn caps. I was gonna say, but you know what I mean. What's holding you up? A police car. <laughs> no, not really. It's the car in front of him. Going really slowly. Annoyingly so. Perhaps he's nervous with the police behind him. Sting operation, they want me to overtake. Good. I don't want any more people running into me. But yeah, sure. Essentially, if you are in the inner part of a roundabout, you have to give way to the people in the outer part, but you also have to give way entering a roundabout to those that are in the roundabout, so yeah, unless France runs by different rules, which of course could be the case. Oh wait, yes, France, now that I mentioned it, yeah, yeah, France does have different roundabout rules, don't they? Hmm, I just realized that they might have. That's why it has been so problematic, but they might have changed it as well. well I want to try to park this somewhere, so we'll just uh, do like this. 
Trailer manager. Church Insider. Dismiss. Store this trailer in the garage. Yes. Successfully parked in the garage. Thank you. Now let's see if we can successfully get some sleep here. There we go. Oh, I just missed it. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> yeah. That's where we need to rest. 132,000 from Marcus. Good work, Marcus. Uh, yeah, that's why you should apply the parking brake in these kinds of situations. So yeah, you can sleep, but it wasn't easy. And that's also, if it is a garage that you don't own, you might be able to squeeze in there and kind of get a... Uh, Get a uh, map. External contracts. Yeah, we don't need to take the longest freaking trips. From the Marina and Marche to Montpellier. Yeah, that sounds good. I must say it paid rather well. It paid rather well, but now we have to do this 23 ton candy deliveries again. Well, other kinds of gifts as well this in this instance trailer is ready proceed to loading area yes yes oops do not run into the police literally supposed to go so thank you thank you for the signs oh yeah back back where I came from where I came from. Not the same company though, but the same location ish. Same general direction. There is a yield sign for the roundabout here, so yeah. But yeah, point made. I think we are supposed to go in here, yes. Yeah, the problem is when they. Uh, when I'm in the inner lane, so to say. And they hog 
claim the outer lane immediately. So, not much of yield there. Oh yeah, this was a long time ago since I did advanced coupling stuff. Let's see how good I am at this. Good enough. I even remembered which button to press. It said which button to press, but base 6 doesn't tell me much. Yes. Börjas logistiken och speditionen. What are they doing here? They might be asking the same thing from me. Ah, Sweden and Deutschland. Oh, that explains a little bit more. I was gonna say, why are we going 30? Well, it's actually 30 here, so okay. <laughs> that explains why there is pretty sure I read 50, but it was night, so it's a little bit harder to see on the GPS. That explains why they were going 30 last time we was complaining about the car just doing 30. Well, it was just 30. Apparently. Now 165 liters. Why it is 30, no, nobody knows though. Well, it's a city. 50, yay. Finally. So yeah, my new roundabout tactic, stick to the outer side, no matter which direction I'm going. Which is a really stupid idea, but okay, here we didn't have any traffic, but it might come some traffic here. This is a one lane roundabout, so don't even try. Well, I didn't. Good.
Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, yeah, back to Montpellier again, was it? Not too exciting in that way, but uh, well, well. We'll keep it simple. We just want to get as many deliveries as possible. Done. So, no extremely long deliveries. Still, this one paid like 120,000 or something, so not too bad. Not bad at all. General direction, precise. I was thinking about it already when I said it. But oops, oops, oops. oops. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, precisely. If I don't damage the cargo. Indeed, indeed. We're continuing straight ahead, yes. Yes, we are. wasn't that straight, sure. Slow down a little bit. Through the inner corner there. Bastard. Okay. Now, if you kindly let me in here. Well, not kindly, but yeah, yeah. 44,000 from Lucas. Nice. Uh, what are you up to here? You're making me nervous. Still have fairly decent acceleration with these 23 ton cargoes in this truck. But yeah, apparently the guy in front of me needed a little bit more time. Perrier, okay. Hopefully they cleared all the blue lights. Yes, there were there were a couple of them, yes. But I don't think it wasn't close, it was just uh, cornered off some parts. Some lanes.
Lots of bridges. Jeff bridges, bow bridges. sure why they insist on me going that way because that's not them um, I mean it kind of says that it's automatic but it isn't as far as I've been able to tell earlier it is the telepath symbol on it but it doesn't actually act like it <laughs> yes but bridges Jones yes Exactly. Uh, Montpellier, yes. Keep on heading that way. That's our finances, by the way. 2.1 million, yeah. Bought a garage again last time, so... quickly evaporate money. This is a big freaking rest stop, I must say. And very elaborate as well. Looking nice. Roundabouts on the rest stop here. Not so nice. Anymore. I take it back. Montpellier. I should take a right at some point then. Not yet, it seems. But yeah, up ahead. No, we shouldn't. Okay. Same procedures as last time. Same procedure as last time. Almost. Indeed, I had, I didn't have quite enough to buy another garage, but almost, so I was around, as you say, 1.6, 1.7, around there, somewhere. John and Bedas, or whatever it said. Oops, he been here so that's good we're in a new area at least of Montpellier let's just check yeah yeah we are oh yeah that's true I've only been here that's true I haven't been to but there wasn't a lot of uh, question marks around here no none on left at least. But yeah, yeah this is Mont Montpellier proper. I 
luxury SUV. It kind of looked like. Right and then left. Oh yeah, this this sounded familiar. I'll squeeze in here and have someone honk their horn at me. Where do you need it? Over there. Shouldn't be too much of a problem because we can just flip it around here to begin with piece of cake easy 90 xp famous lost words but no Oh, that's true. Now I actually need to decouple these again. Need to remember that. 2.1 million, and then we get 120,000 more, and almost a level up. jeez. Oh, Any job offers from here? Yes. Anyone that isn't all the way across the globe. I mean, we can go to Porto Vecchio. Oh, no, that's back. No, that was boring. Boring. Let's go to Sassari then. That works. What else did they have? Leida. 519 kilometers on road. This one was 362 on road. Still a bit far, so to say, but sure. We'll take it. Peter Parker, yes, yes, indeed, indeed. Convoy from hell, that's what they had as the signs. What do you call it? Number plates, well, call driver and driver plates. Seven hours until next next rest stop. Not a problem. We'll take the ferry. So, and we only had what three hundred and something to get to the ferry. So good, 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 good. This will work out perfectly. No, no, now I will. I will. Go this way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it could have worked. It worked in the in the way that yeah he was actually stopping 
then I ran into him anyhow. Which of course is the danger of doing like that, on the other hand, I didn't even get a fine for that, funnily enough. I got damaged. But if he runs into me at full speed, when he's supposed to yield, then I get a fine, so yeah, a bit weird. Oh, here comes the police. Are they gonna run into me? Maybe. No, they didn't. Trust no one. That's my new motto for this game. So, Sasari, been there, done that, but sure, it was a while since we were to whichever island it is. I keep mixing them up. Now I don't remember the name of it. any of them. Sardinia and... Yeah. The other one. heading towards Toulouse, I guess. Oh, this is a heavy cargo. Come on, overtake us then. Korsika is the next one, yes, or the other one, indeed. That's the one I forgot. Yes, this is the Italian, the Italian island, so yes, Sardinia. Corsica is the French one, but no, not, not that one, not this time. So now I should move my pedal stand a little bit, trying to overtake. That's how hard I was accelerating. <coughs> Jeez. Uh, well, I guess we're heading towards Barcelona. For a start, at least. Oh, wait. That's where we're taking the ferry from. Yeah. Or am I mixing the places up again? It won't be the first time. Barcelona, indeed, yes. Oh, we have a photo up there that we haven't used. Well, well, well. We'll try to do that then. And a photo up over there, but we are not going there. How annoying. Might be able to fix that, though. After all, most of this trip will be a ferry trip. So I won't be making a lot of money per day on this. Because that ferry trip is like, yeah, long. I don't remember how long, but long.
better me doing it than my uh, other drivers. Going to Farayona all the time. I'm looking at you, Hanka. Toll station coming up. Might as well. Cruise. too nice. Also just checking if that was anything to photograph, but no, it wasn't. It was just uh, an old monastery or something. Spain! Oops. You never know if it's the police behind me. a little bit spoiled here. Oh, 90. Okay. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Now we are up to 100. Because I didn't put on the cruise control, so kind of just keeps going, otherwise it actually slows down automatically. And now it gets a little bit bendy up ahead, so I think I will slow down manually here. Well, that was a good call, I think. There we go, 90. Oh, and of course we're coming up on a toll station. And now this looks a little bit different when we are here. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I'm not supposed to go here. Ah, crap. There. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Probably should check my right side here. A little bit, just a little bit. Oh yeah, you should be able to pass through here then, I hope. 
Yes. Yay, CB. Oh, I haven't seen that one earlier. I wonder if it's a new one. So in Spain, keep right in France, straight ahead slash left in these kinds of toll booths, because it differs a bit, as you just noticed, perhaps. I certainly noticed. Uh, I already knew, but I didn't remember. So, I guess not too far before we are in the outskirts of Barcelona. Still can do a bit of overtaking though, it seems. Oh, it's a caravan holding up traffic. Well, I'll keep going. even going too fast so might as well oops oops sorry oh yet another toll booth It is indeed sending me all the way to the right here. I mean, all the way to the right. Well, I'll try this one, but it looks like I might need to stop here. Which I shouldn't need to do because I do have a. did have to stop. God damn it. Well, not really. Could probably have pressed enter without stopping. This is a done done though. Ah, we are taking right, so no point in overtaking here now. So, almost there, I guess. Well, almost in Barcelona at least. Uh, but yeah, we shouldn't be too far away from the harbor. I 
Here we are. I remember that Barcelona is a bit of a mess uh, regarding the roads. Well, not the actual roads as such, they, nothing wrong with them, but uh, the layout of them. Let's put it that way. Yeah, something to photograph up ahead, but uh, we seem to be in a tunnel. Would still be possible to take a photo from here, or... No, we're not turning here. Yes, we were turning there. Uh, God damn it. Ah, it was very vague. But yeah, I remember that weird roundabout. Well, guess we're not taking that road. Okay, it wasn't that much of a detour, but we missed the photo opportunity. I say it wasn't that much of a detour, but let's see here. It'd still be a bit of a detour, yeah. Could, it should have been able to go down there. Maybe not. Weird. Weird, weird. So okay, it was a bit of a detour, that's for sure. <laughs> the game is lagging a bit, you can hear it on the indicator noise or sound. But it's a bit irregular. Puerto, I guess that's where we are heading. Anything else would surprise me. they know what they are doing although kind of doubting it on the littoral yes yes that one This weird little, uh, yeah, weird, 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 weird stuff.
actually managed to make it over here eventually. It's a bit of a mess. Oops, I misread the GPS again. <laughs> ah, that was a nice one. They are kind of hidden behind those crosses. Uh, we can turn out those turn off those crosses if you want to but uh, ah, okay well Porto Torres I guess yes embark that was a nice one and we also got 14,000 or something for as a fine there for I'm not sure if it was for crashing with the police car or it would make sense though So not good. We need to start repairing our truck, I think, a little bit. Yeah, it looked like it was raining, yes. Precisely, the radiators might be a little bit in a bad condition indeed. raining so yeah it stops a little bit slow So, yeah, not a good day here lately, too weird stuff, not weird necessarily, bad stuff. But yeah, yeah, only my own self to blame for those ones, unfortunately. Yeah. 
So I think, yeah, 22, 31. I think this will be the last delivery for the day. Mostly because I'm, I'm a bit uh, off. Still have that some kind of uh, sinus problems comes and goes but we'll uh, spend some cash perhaps on another garage again let's see now we have to spend a bunch of cash on uh, on uh, fines and eventually also repairing my truck but we might uh, stop and do that. Wait, you wanted it on the in the rear? I think that was the case, yes. Indeed, here somewhere. Ooh, okay. I was gonna say, now I'm glad I have my trailer with steering rear axle, and then I remember that no, this is not my trailer with the steering rear axle. I still somehow managed to mess this up a little bit. blinkers at least there we go stop raining yeah, damn it i can't hear myself thinking hey level up so So, 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 let's see, we should go and find a repair shop. Ah, well, how convenient, there is a question mark over there and a repair shop. So let's go there, that's a truck dealer, in other words. In other words, that's a truck dealer. We don't need to sleep, we just took the ferry ride, so, yeah. Let's just do that. This way, yes, we can. Oops, sorry. So let's fling some money on a truck repair and uh, a yet another garage in Sweden that we don't use, <laughs> but sure, we'll do it anyhow for other purposes.
Hey, Mercedes dealer. Word on the tongue is that they will be able to repair a Volvo as well. We just can't stop in time. A little bit trike maintenance and repairs. 147,000 each. But yeah, that was mostly the cabin. Indeed, indeed. That was that was bad. But there we go. Repaired. Let's 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 purchase a garage. We only have two left to buy, so yes, yes. There we go. Now we only have one left to buy in Sweden. For now, I should say as well, until I activate pro mods again. But uh, we'll buy that last one next week. Then we'll be done with that because this one is still, yeah, it's Copenhagen, precisely. Good, 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 good. Then when I have done that, I will start saving up money for more employees and trucks and stuff. And perhaps a, I mean, I still like this truck, but we might go for a heavy haul truck. With, well, four axles perhaps and such, yeah, Ad other gearbox, same engine probably, or similar at least. Uh, but uh, yeah, that will take some time. We might buy another trailer before we buy a new truck actually. We'll see about that. They also cost a bit, that's for sure. Speaking of that, what, how much, I mean, it's kind of like, if, if we stick to the standard trailers, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, for example, a fuel tank, uh, 700,000, but then I want to modify it a little bit, so 1 million probably, before we have a fuel tank, because that could be interesting, perhaps. What else do we have? Low beds and stuff. Mm. Low beds and low loaders. Yeah. Oh, and chemicals and food tanks. Hmm. Then all, all these insulated and refrigerated stuff, but no, oh well. Not now. Krone, I think, have. No, that's... Hmm. I'm pretty sure... What is supposed to be... <laughs> I thought there was supposed to be a... Chrome... I mean, this is a food tank, tank paint. Kind of tells me that there should be another option for that one. That's a fuel tank. That's a silo. Ah, yeah. Perhaps it's just that you can select uh, customized configuration. Let's have a quick look. Crawler gears and such precisely on, on the body. Well, not many options there. Chain type, single, chassis, whatever, paint job. Yeah, it was paint jobs, yeah. Well, 
Well, well, whatever. I was like, I, I heard some rumors about uh, Chrome time. Oh, but maybe they are not in the game yet. Maybe it's uh, what is coming in the next update. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the case. Yes. Maybe that's what I read. But yeah, uh, my employees are... Nikolai has been doing good lately. Good. Maximilian is doing better. So yeah. Lucas, uh, quite good. Elena is top of the food chain at the moment. Betts is not doing so good, but that's okay. Oh, she picked up the trailer. <laughs> I was just thinking, I wonder if they do that. Uh, yes, she did. Apparently she did. Yeah, she has the curtain side. Current freight performance forks. I, I'm not asking any questions about that. Interesting, interesting. I wonder if she earns more money in that way. That could be interesting. Well, well, I'll call it a day here. I'm a bit eh, off. So, no point in starting any, any new deliveries here, but there are probably. I hope there will be some of them available from here eventually. No point in checking this now because they will be changed until next week, but at least there are some right now, so that's promising. That's promising. Quite a, quite a few actually. Yeah, not a problem. At the moment, we'll see ne next time. Uh, next time will be, however, uh, the long and dark. Don't ac actually remember what we were doing there, other than surviving and mapping, mapping the air airport. So, and well, that's pretty much what we are doing. So, nothing new there uh, in that sense. But we did down a there last time, so we have food at least for for a while that's good but yeah that will be saturday and sunday so uh i'll be back saturday with the long dark see you bye bye